the hearts of men. <laughs> the shadow knows. Ladies and gentlemen, the shadow can never be sure of what lies ahead of him. But there's one thing every motorist can be sure of, and that's meeting plenty of wet weather driving before the year's over. Well, you can give yourself greater skid protection if you make sure your car is equipped with those new Goodrich Silvertown tires, the tires with the sensational lifesaver tread. This amazing tread has never-ending spiral bars that act like a battery of windshield wipers. They sweep the water from under the tire force it out through the deep groove, give you a drier, safer road surface for the rubber to grip. And when you're thus protected against the slippery hazard zone of motoring, you get the quickest non-skid stops you've ever had. Furthermore, Silvertowns are the only tires in the world that give you the famous blowout protection of the Goodrich Golden Ply. So why take chances with either skids or blowouts when you can get protection against both of these driving hazards in Silvertown? at no extra cost. The Shadow, Lamont Cranston, a man of wealth, a student of science, and a master of other people's minds, devotes his life to righting wrongs, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty. Cranston is known to the underworld as the Shadow. Never seen, only heard, his true identity is known only to his constant friend and aid, Margot Lane. Today's story, The Mine Hunters. Zito, let me in. Come. Zito, why you make me come down here to the Panama waterfront in the middle of a foggy night like this? Why is Captain Bogart here? Captain Bogart is no longer satisfied to take orders, Varita. He wants to know why my men spend so much time taking soundings off the entrance of the Panama Canal. Why this fishing trawler he commands does not catch more fish. Aye, and what's the idea of contacting the Trump steamer that's been standing offshore? You are paid well to do as you are told and be silent, Captain Bogart. Not enough for what I think you're mixed up in. And what is that, Captain? Spying. Sounding out the defenses and laying secret mines off the Panama Canal, that's what. You know too much, Captain... Much too much. And the sharks that infest the waters of the shore of La Boca will welcome you. Who's there? Riker. Come in, Riker. We're glad to see you. Did you fix it up for me to get that deckhand job in the trawler? Yes. <laughs> it is all arranged. Hey, what's the idea? Why the gun? Just this. We know you are not a deckhand. You are Lieutenant Cartwright of the Naval Intelligence Division. So, you found out about me before I could get the goods on you and your spy ring, eh? So sorry, Lieutenant. It is the bottom of espionage. <laughs> Major Baker to see you, Commander. Sure, I'm right in. Uh, good morning, Major. Morning, Commander. I just heard one of your cutters found the body of Lieutenant Cartwright washed up on the beach near La Boca. Yes, one of our best men. I beg pardon, Commander. Another message from the Navy Department. Mm-hmm. It makes the third today. Good grief. Now what? This message. The Navy Department sent two men down here a month ago. And they haven't reported in the last ten days. Oh, what use are our elaborate defenses of the Panama Canal if every potential enemy knows as much about them as we do? You're right. We've got to wipe out this spy ring, but how? Every intelligence officer we've put on the job has come back empty-handed. Yes, or dead. There must be some way, some man smart enough and nervy enough to deal with these spies, these killers. <laughs> Valparaiso, 
Margot have one hour stopover. Well, Margot, well, this is our destination. Yes, sir, Mark. Any ideas yet as to how you're going to try and locate the leaders of that spy ring operating in and around the canal zone? Not so loud, Margot. No, I have no definite plan yet. I thought it was time the Shadow took a part in finding out who is at the head of this spy ring. Hope I can be of some help to you. You've always been a big help to Lamont Cranston, Margot. And this time, you may be helping our country as well. Waiter, waiter. Si, senor. We have a check. Uh, si, senor. Pronto. Muy pronto. Mm, Lamont, I love the way these Panama natives say quickly and then take all day. <laughs> life, life moves very slowly in the tropics, Margo. Mm, so does criminal investigation, it would seem. We've been here a week. Yes, and we've haunted every cafe in Panama. The best of the lowest dives along the waterfront. You know, Lamont, if, if these international spies are half as clever as you seem to think they are... They may be suspicious of us. <laughs> it's a very old axiom among hunters. If you're after a killer, whether he be a wolf, a tiger, or a man, if you can't find him, make it easy for him to find you. Oh, in other words, Lamont, we're just a couple of walking invitations for a shot in the dark or a knife in the back. Is that it? Mm, not quite. I do want people around here to get a bit curious about us. Why? Are you scared? A bit. This waterfront sector gives me the creep. Especially the people in this cafe. It looks like they'd slit your throat for the fun of it. Uh, well, oh, yes, of course. Lamont, who is she? Who? who? Who is who? That Spanish dancer you've been watching for the last ten minutes. Uh, that's, that's Verita. She owns this cafe, and according to rumor, she's one of the most notorious characters in Panama. How did you find that out, Lamont? Well, after Lamont Cranston, the amateur criminologist, has seen his assistant safely to a room in the hotel, the shadow has been prowling the back streets of Panama. Careful, Lamont. The waiter's coming back. Mm, it's about time. Your appeal is two dollars fifty cents, American, senor. Here you are. Keep the change. Gracias, senor. Gracias. Uh, you will uh, be back again, senor? Maybe. Why? Make you ask. Only that for three nights now you have come. Senor, you like the cafe of Senorita Varita, see? Si? You have a very interesting place, yes. I think we will be back. Come along, Margot. Get out of here. Buenas noches, senor, senorita. Buenas noches. Manuel. Senorita Varita. Tell Senor Zito here what the Americans say. He say you have a most interesting place. He come back again, Senorita. You hear, Zito? Yes. That will be all, Manuel. Go back to your table. See, si, see, si, Senor Zito. Zito, what have you learned of this man and his pretty companion? Very little, Varita. At the hotel, they are registered as John Hardy of New York and Miss Martha Adams of Boston. The rooms, you have had them searched? Yes, the head porter. He's one of our men. Mm. He found nothing. No suspicious papers. Then what makes you think they're government agents? I have good reason to suspect this man, if not the young woman, Varita. So? Why is it so? Each night he has seen the young lady to her room, and then he has left the hotel again. Where does he go? Three nights now my men have followed him, but each night he has walked into the shadows and vanished. You talk like a fool. Men do not vanish in Panama unless we see to it. But this man does. Last night he came to the waterfront, walked out on the fisherman's wharf. Three of my men thought they had him cornered, but when they searched the wharf, he was not there. <laughs> Perhaps he had wings and flew away, or jumped into the water and drowned himself, and it is ghost we saw here tonight. No, he was there. He spoke to my men, but they could not see him, could only hear his voice and his laughter. Laughter such as you might hear from the devil himself. Do not invent lies to cover your stupidity. It is not a lie. This man can move into the shadows, become as a shadow itself, <laughs> unseen. <laughs> Do not laugh, Marita, it is the truth. There is such a man. I have heard of him and of his powers. To those in our profession, he is the most dangerous man alive. 
And he is here. Here in Panama, I tell you. Who are you talking about? Perhaps you too have heard of him, Varita. He is the terror of the criminal world of America. He succeeds where police and secret service and agents of counter-espionage have failed. He is a man all men fear, yet no one has ever seen. And his name, Varita, it is The Shadow. The Shadow, huh? Yes, The Shadow. And he is here in Panama after us. And unless we find a way of trapping him, he will trap us. And do you think this John Hardy of New York is the shadow? Or an accomplice? Vito, the trawler Vendetta, it puts to sea tonight, yes? In one hour. This girl, it uh, might be well if she went along. <laughs> I see. You think she will make fine bait for a trap to catch the shadow? It can be arranged. It will not be difficult to get her out of the hotel. Good. And um, on board the trawler in the open sea after dawn, there will be no shadow. Get her. Bring her to the trawler. I will meet you there. You go to sea with us? <laughs> See, if the shadow appears, it will be interesting to see if his powers are strong enough to save him from the tiger sharks that swarm the waters of Panama. <laughs> What you have to do? Si, Senor Zito. When you have taken the girl away, I am to run quick to the room of Senor Hardy, her friend, and tell him some men take her to the steam troll of Vendetta. Yes. Wait five, no, ten minutes. Then warn him. I understand. Good. Now, which is the Senorita's room? There. I have a key to that open door there to the patio. Unlock it. My men will do the rest. Si, Senor. Pedro. Manuel, quick, bring the girl. Do not let her cry out. Si, senor. She will not cry out. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, many perilous things may happen to the shadow. But do you realize that just two dangerous things can happen to a tire? A blowout or a skid? Unless the tires you ride on give you protection against both of these dangers, you may be heading for trouble. The shadow knows. Beware. Literally millions of American motorists right now are gambling on their tires, taking chances on a dangerous blowout or a car-wrecking skid. Make sure your tires are safe. And the best way I know of to do that, motorist, is to replace smooth, worn tires with the new Goodrich. Safety Silvertown, the only tires that give you the skid protection of the lifesaver tread. Remember, this tire won hands down in road tests conducted by Pittsburgh Testing Laboratory, the nation's largest independent testing laboratory. The engineers of this famous laboratory found that no tire tested came up to the Silvertown in resistance to skid. And the tires tested against this Silvertown were regular and premium price tires of America's five other leading tire manufacturers. Some of them priced as much as 40 to 70 percent more. When you can get Silvertowns at no extra cost, you really get the skid protection of the Lifesaver Tread and Golden Ply Blowout Protection free. Put these life-saving Goodrich Silvertowns on your car now. The sooner, the safer. <laughs> Have you learned? Nothing, Verita. It is strange he does not come, this shadow. We cannot wait much longer. The trawler must put to sea. 
What are you going to do with the girl if Kit has not come? What we did with Captain Bogart, with the lieutenant from the Navy Department and the others. Mm -hmm. Where is the girl? In the next cabin. Perhaps you can make her talk. You know so many ways, Vito. I will try, but women are difficult. They can stand much more torture, more pain than a man. Come, senorita. We talk to you now. Maybe you will talk to us. You can talk all you like. I have nothing to say. Do not be too sure, senorita. This is Mr. Zito. He has had experience in loosening the tongue of those who will not speak freely. I can imagine. Senorita, among my people there is a saying that the tongue is for speech. And those who will not use their tongue for speaking have no need of it. And they will not feel its loss if the tongue is taken away. I really believe you would, Mr. Zito. It has been necessary on occasion. But what good would it do you to have my tongue cut out? None. Therefore, we would both lose if your stubborn courage should force me to go so far, senorita. What do you want to know? Well, this friend of yours, this man John Hardy of New York, what is he doing in Panama? I don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. You lie. You know who he is, what he is, why he's here. I tell you, I don't. Quick, tell me this one thing. They're choking me. Is it not true this friend of yours is the man the whole world knows as the shadow? I tell you, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I will answer that question for you, Mr. Zito. The shadow. He's here. He has walked into our trap. No, Zito. It is I who have set a trap for you. Pedro! Manuel! Quick! Watch the door! Let no one out of this cabin! <laughs> it will do no good to ring for your cutthroat, Zito. I have disposed of them one by one. Zito? It is true. They do not answer. You are cornered. Trapped, Zito. Trapped! Zito! Do not stand there staring. He's here, somewhere in this cabin. We have got the girl. Don't let go of her. What is the matter with you? Surely you've heard of the power of hypnosis, senorita. Look at him. He can't move, can't speak. Listen to me, Zito. Listen to me. Take your fingers from that girl's throat. Release her. Release her. Release her. Zito! Zito! It is useless, senorita. So, you have caught him, Shadow. But you will never get me. Never! Never! Lamont, thank heavens you got here in time. I'm sure you meant to kill me. I know. Quick, get off this trawler. Better than worse. <laughs> Why did you let Verita get away? Because she will show me the way to the real leader of this firing bent on destroying the defenses of the canal. <laughs> what about Zito? Go on, hurry. Uh, I'll join you on the wharf. After I make Mr. Zito tell all he knows to the shadow. <laughs> going in the speedboat? Straight out to sea. Eight miles south-southwest. You better hope I haven't forgotten how to read a compass. I thought you were going to trail Varita. Yeah, it won't be necessary. She'll be where we're going. Did you get that from Zito? Yes, and many other things, Margot. There's a ship out there. And that's where the trawler was going. Yes. Lamont, you're not going to board that ship alone. I must, Margot. It's the only chance of getting the real leader of the spiring. But what can you do against the whole crew of a ship... Why don't you turn your information over to the Navy Patrol? Let them deal with it. They can't without creating an international incident. The ship is beyond the 12-mile limits, carrying the flag of a supposedly friendly country. What kind of ship is it? Mm, a tramp steamer, but actually it's a disguised tender, loaded with mines and capable of converting fishing trawlers like the Vendetta into mine layers in a few hours. Good heavens. Just what are you going to do, Lamont? What can I do to help? Margot, all I want you to do is take the wheel of this speedboat. I'm going to jump overboard and swim to that ship. You get near enough. You turn back toward the coast a couple of miles, cut the motor, and wait to hear from me over the shortwave band the shadow always uses. But suppose they hear us and send the boat out. We're running without lights. If you stop the motor, they'll never find you in the dark. All right, Lamont. Only I hope you know what you're doing. You're taking a terrible risk, even for the shadow. No, don't worry about me. Only one thing more. If the wind springs up and the sea gets rough, head back to the coast. This boat won't ride a storm. And leave you on that ship? I will not. You will. I want your promise. We turn back now. All right. I promise. Lamont, look. There's a ship dead ahead without light. That's it, Margot. Take the wheel, quick. There's a smaller boat alongside. Smaller. I thought there'd be one. That means Verita's on board ship ahead of me. Lamont, wait. Let me swing closer. No, this is close enough. Now, remember, Margot, 
stand off until you hear from me. So, Zeta is caught, and you, Senator Verita, become so afraid of the shadow that you dare disobey my command that you shall never come aboard this ship. But, Dr. Muller... Wait! By coming aboard this ship, you have linked me with the activities of our spies in Panama. You're a fool and a coward, Senorita. And I have no use for those who cannot obey my orders. But you do not know this shadow. You have not seen as I have what he can do. I know all about this shadow. It is my business to know everything about those who may sooner or later stand in the way of my plans. You are very clever, Dr. Mola. But how do you know the shadow is not on board this ship? If he has followed you here, I shall deal with him. But... The boat we heard half an hour ago was not cruising around for nothing. I tell you, it is dangerous to stay in these waters after what has happened. We are beyond the twelve mile limit. We are safe here. You are not safe from this shadow. Not anywhere. Yes. Come in. I had the ship searched from bow to stern as you ordered, Dr. Marlow. I don't believe anyone boarded us from that speedboat. Now, what about the speedboat? Well, I had the trawler cruise around. No trace of it, sir. Must have returned to Panama. Very well. Go to the bridge and wait orders from me. Yes, sir. Now, senorita, I shall consider your case. I... I cannot go back to Panama. It is too bad. For Panama is the only place you are of any use to me. But I have done nothing. I have not betrayed you. You could put me ashore down the coast until it is safe for me to go back. I have a better plan. With this gun, it is easier, quicker. No. No. You would not shoot me for one mistake. I have been valuable to you. I have found out many secrets for but you. But no more. <laughs> Do not be afraid. Do not cower like an animal. I am not going to shoot you. I am merely going to give you a chance to do it yourself. Hmm. No, 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 I won't do it. I will do anything but that. And why not, senorita? You and Mr. Zito have killed many men. No, I won't. Very well. Then you give me no choice. <laughs> Wait, Dr. Moloff, before you shoot. Is that He's here. Yes, I'm here. I warned you, Dr. Moloff, but you would not listen. So you dare to come even here, Shadow? Yes, Doctor, I've come for you. Then you are a fool. There is no one here you can call upon to help you, and this ship is beyond the 12-mile limit. But you are going to leave this ship, Dr. Moloff. You are going to leave this ship before 10 minutes have passed, or you will never leave alive. Save your bluff of fools like my agent, Shadow. This is not bluff, Doctor. I've not been idle in the half hour I've been aboard. I know the whole of this ship is filled with high-explosive mines. Think what will happen when a time bomb goes off in that cargo of death. A time bomb? 10 minutes? Less than 10, Dr. Moloff. Think fast. You still have time to get your crew aboard the trawler alongside. I don't believe you, Shadow. Why should you warn me if this is true? Because the trawler flies our flag, and once aboard, you are subject to the laws of our country. The naval patrol will pick you up after the explosion. Oh, that's it? Yes. You have nine minutes left to decide. Prison for espionage or death. I don't believe you, Shadow. You are a fool if you stay here, Dr. Muller. I believe him. I'm going. What is going Get your crew on the trawler. I cannot take a chance that you have not planted a time bomb in the whole shadow. But if you have, I am going to give you your choice. Try to come through this door before I lock it, and I'll shoot you down, even if I can't see you. Or stay in this cabin and be blown up with the ship. I, I have another choice, another choice, Dr. Moller. And it's... Margot, Margot Lane, Margot Lane, I've left the ship and safe aboard trawler Black Girl. Return to Panama, return to Panama. The mystery ship will blow up any minute now, but disregard explosion, disregard explosion. Return to Panama, disregard... Radio message, Commander. It came through just now. I don't know what you make of it, sir. The sender wouldn't identify. Let me see. Steam trawler Black Girl, six miles south southwest La Boca. Dr. Moloff and agents expiring aboard intercept. That trawler's been under suspicion for some time, sir. Yes, and this may be the break we've been waiting for. The destroyer K-17 is in that vicinity, investigating a mysterious explosion. 
Notify our commanding officer to proceed to the position of the trawler Black Gull and search her. Did he get off the ship before it blew up? I don't know, Verita. We found him on the deck of the gull. Like this. Unconscious. He... Nah, he ain't dead. But he took an awful beating from somebody. Uh, it's too bad the shadow did not kill him. Shadow? What are you talking about? What the... Destroyer! Get ahead! The shadow said we wouldn't stop. We have got to get away. We can't. They blow us out of the water. Stop the engine! Yes, sir. They're sending a boat to board us. Stand by, Black Gull. We're coming aboard. They cannot stop us. We are beyond the 12-mile limit. <laughs> You're wrong, senorita. This trawler flies our flag. You. You saved Dr. Moloff. You won the Navy patrol. Yes, Morita. Your spy ring is broken. Your minds have exploded harmlessly. Like your theories. You led me to Dr. Moloff, the chief of this spy ring. You and he will suffer the extreme penalty. An example to all spies who seek to discover the secrets of our country's defenses and endanger the safety of our territorial waters. You have been listening to a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow Magazine... Now on sale at your local newsstand. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> All the characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Mm-hmm.